This is how you can make an ask AI command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you are interested in the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and get it by getting the super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get the god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. We also have three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get into the code all right so first if you're using the dev toolkit package you're going to need to go over to utils and component loader and then you're going to find this line that says if data dot data is instance of slash command builder you're going to have to add this which is going to be or data is instance of context menu command builder uh, because we're going to be using a context menu for this and we need to allow our handler to register that context menu So after you do that we can go ahead and create a new command and we can call this ask.js First we can get our dependencies gonna get our context menu builder embed builder and application command type from discord.js And we're gonna get puppeteer from puppeteer then we can go ahead and create our new command by doing module that exports We're gonna go ahead and do data. That's gonna be new context menu command builder then we can go ahead and set our name to ask and we can go ahead and set our type and we're going to do application command type dot message then we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to do async executes let's go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up first let's go ahead and defer a reply by doing await interaction dot defer reply and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true then we're going to go ahead and get our message and that is going to be from our interaction dot channel dot messages dot fetch and then we're going to do our interaction dot target ID. Then we can go ahead and do if message.content.link is less than or equal to zero. Then we're going to go ahead and return our reply, which is going to be content. And then we're going to say this message is empty just so that we make sure any message that we're going to send to our AI has content. All right. So now let's go ahead and implement our AI. We're going to be doing this with puppeteer to web scrape and AI site that I found just like in previous videos. So first let's go ahead and get our browser and we're going to do equals await puppeteer.launch. We're going to set headless and this is actually going to be set to new. That way we can't see anything that's going on. Then we're going to do const page equals await browser dot new page. We're going to go to this site right here. Um, you can use this site or you can go ahead and create your own Zapier site if you'd like. This is essentially what the site looks like, but what you could do is go ahead and build your own Zapier site and that's going to allow you to use your own AI with custom prompts and everything like that. After that, we're going to go ahead and get our blocked values. These are going to be any sensitive terms uh, that you do not want the AI to be able to respond to. I have compiled an array. Obviously, I'm not going to show any of it here, but it's a massive array of a bunch of terms you might not want um, to be sent in your Discord server. If you'd like to access this array as is as source code, you can do so for free by going to the download center, which you can find in the Discord server in the description below. If you go to the resources channel, all you have to do is log in with Discord and then at the bottom here, right under the words array, you'll be able to find the blocked values array and you can download that entire array. So after doing that, we're going to go ahead and continue with our web scraping. So first we're going to wait for our selector and we're going to get this very specific selector from the AI site. Then we're going to go ahead and do wait page dot type and we're going to type in that exact same text area selector. And when we type in, we're actually going to type in our message content and then we're going to do wait page dot keyboard dot press enter. So we're going to wait for our input area. We're going to type in our message in there and then we're going to go ahead and send it. Then we're going to go ahead and do another wait function here. We're going to essentially wait um, until we have all of our messages from the AI that have been sent. It takes a couple of messages for the AI to send it just like chat gpt so we're going to wait until we have all of them this next block of code is adding on to that we're making sure all of the messages from our ai have been sent and then after that's complete we're going to break out of the loop and go to our ai response which is going to evaluate that same message and then essentially in here we're going to get all of those messages that have been sent and compile them into an array uh, which is going to be called nodes and then we're going to go ahead and return a map of that node, which is formatted into the text we want. Now, what's cool about this is we've done it so that um, when it uses pre tags, which means it's a code tag, it's going to return that section in our backslash text. So it's going to be formatted in a code block on Discord. Then we're going to go ahead and do await browser.close. We can do const failed message equals, and then you can say, 
I'm afraid I can't send your response. So essentially that failed message is going to be what happens if any of our blocked values are uh, present within our AI response, which you're gonna go ahead and do now. So first and foremost, we need to go ahead and make sure the bot is not actually mentioning everyone or here. So we can go ahead and check that by using AI response that includes. And then if it does, we're gonna set our AI response to failed message. Then we're gonna go ahead and do a for loop. So we can do i equals zero. We can do i is less than blocked values dot length. And we can do i plus plus. We're gonna go ahead and say if, and we can do AI response that includes, we're gonna do blocked values of i. Then we're gonna do AI response equals failed message. So we're essentially just checking to see if the AI response has any of those blocked values. Then we're gonna go ahead and check to see if the response has a Discord invite because we don't want the bot to be promoting any Discord servers. That's optional, but I think it's a pretty good idea because it could be used for self-promotion. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our embed and we're actually gonna go ahead and send it. So we're gonna do const embed equals new embed builder. We're gonna set the color. We're gonna set our description to AI response and we're gonna do a weight interaction at or apply embeds with our embed. Now it's important to note that the blocked values and the mentions here are not necessary as is because we are hiding this reply from everyone else because it's set to infernal. But if you wanted to allow everyone in the channel to see the message that the AI sends, which has some use cases, you could do so. And then all of these catches that we do down here would be necessary. So it's up to you whether or not you want to have these, but I'd recommend it because if you wanted to make this public in the future, then it would be very helpful to have. But as is, this works properly, so let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord, we can actually go ahead and test this. Let's just send a message in the channel, and we can access our context menu by right-clicking on that message, going to apps, and then clicking on our command. So it's gonna go ahead and think for a minute. Right now what's happening is it's actually web scraping the AI site. And it's going to go ahead and wait for the response, get the response, and then send it into the channel right here, as you can see. Now, like I was saying, the message is hidden from everyone, so anything that might be sent um, would not make any difference because nobody else would be able to see it, um, especially mentions because it's in an embed. But I've included all of those catches just in case you want to modify your code, maybe remove the embed or make it so it is not infernal. That way you have them all in there just in case. Now let's go ahead and use this in an actual real world application. I found a message in my Discord that would be pretty good to test on. Let's go ahead and use our ask context menu command. Now as you can see here, we now have our response from the AI. So because this was a coding question, we have code blocks. Now that's something I mentioned in the video. Uh, they were pre-tags in the AI response, meaning they were blocked out as code blocks on Discord, which is very useful because now we have it wrapped and we can go ahead and copy it with the button here. But it's gonna go ahead and give us our response and send the code, which works very well. We can go ahead and try this one more time on this recent message and see what the AI sends. And here's our response. It's gonna go ahead and give a response based off of the message that was sent, just as it was intended. So that's how you can make an advanced AI ask command with your Discord js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video